Since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, companies like Pfizer and BioNTech, as well as health officials around the world, have been working to put an end to the spread of this devastating virus. To help protect people from various viruses and infectious diseases, we develop and distribute vaccines for those individuals at risk of infection. I'm Angela Wong, a member of Pfizer's executive team and group president of the Pfizer Biopharmaceuticals Group. Today, I'll be talking about some of the ways vaccines receive authorization and approval in the US. When faced with emergency or life-threatening situations in which there is no treatment or preventative measures available, regulators like the US FDA may offer what is called an emergency use authorization, or EUA for short, for medicines and vaccines. However, all medicines and vaccines that receive EUA are still subject to rigorous testing for safety and quality. There are no shortcuts taken at any point in this process, and it's important to understand that safety is not compromised. To be considered for an EUA, a biopharmaceutical company submits an application to the FDA, which is then evaluated based on available data and interim results from clinical trials. That determines the safety and efficacy of a treatment. If the criteria are met, the medicine or vaccines receives authorization for emergency use. And this was the case with the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. Yes, because the EUA is not meant to be a long-term status. So even after receiving an EUA, companies are expected to pursue full approval of a treatment or a vaccine. To be granted full approval, companies like Pfizer and BioNTech submit a Biologics License Application, or BLA for short, to the FDA. This is the standard process used by the FDA to approve vaccines and other biological products, and the requirements for FDA approval of COVID-19 vaccines are just as rigorous as they are for all other vaccines. For a company to submit a BLA for full approval of a vaccine, comprehensive data is required from clinical trials demonstrating the vaccine's efficacy and safety. These data are collected over a longer period of time than what is required for emergency use authorization. Information is included about the vaccine's physical, chemical, and biological makeup, as well as how it is manufactured to ensure that it can be made consistently safe, pure, and potent. So the BLA submission requires data demonstrating that the clinical trial and manufacturing sites where the vaccine is tested and made comply with current health and safety regulations. After the FDA receives the application, they review the data package and they analyze the data to determine if the vaccine warrants approval. Clinical trials don't end once an FDA approval is granted. In the case of our phase three COVID-19 vaccine trial, which includes more than 45,000 people, all participants will continue to be monitored for a full two years after their second dose. The FDA and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also use the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System and other systems to continuously monitor the safety of COVID-19 vaccines and other vaccines used in the real world outside of clinical trials. At this time, the U.S. government remains the sole distributor of the vaccine to vaccination sites. These may include mass vaccination sites established by your state or county, pharmacies or drugstores, doctor's offices, and other eligible healthcare centers. Eligible U.S. residents currently continue to receive the vaccine for free, consistent with the U.S. government's commitment for free access to COVID-19 vaccines.